All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for another tournament. And this is going to be for the South Coast tournament. And just going to make sure that I get kind of everything the way that I want across multiple bags. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to typically use Backbone for the extra accuracy. And aside from that, that looks pretty good. The only thing I'm going to probably switch out is I'll probably switch these for top spin. But that's more or less going to be how my bag looks. And we are going to get underway here. Pro Division, hole number one. So let's jump right in. See if I can't get an opponent quick. <clears throat> there we go. Now what I like to do on this one is get it to the right fairway, if at all possible. Let's see what the wind is. A little bit tougher, but uh, still going to be manageable. We're going to play a, a curl shot, and that's one of the biggest reasons to use quarterback here is for the precision. Uh, you know, I'm looking kind of seven rings out in this case, and it's going to land somewhere right around here. I'm trying to stay away from that very edge if I can, you know, stay at least a couple rings away. And here you can see I do pick up a great ball. However, I should have enough curl to hopefully, oh, so not quite, not quite, but uh, no real penalty going to be done here. Um, that's typically going to be the approach that you want to take is try to get it over to that right. Uh, it's not going to really affect my score if I have it rolled into that bunker or into the rough where you see as I'll still be able to, uh, you know, get to the green. It's just going to basically make my eagle a little bit tougher. So if you can get just a little bit more aggressive, maybe a katana or a kingmaker ball, just to give it that little bit of extra curl, uh, that would be ideal. Um, try to stay away from the hook slice approach. As you can see, my opponent does a hook slice. Um, I would try to stay away from that because of the accuracy. It's going to be harder to keep that uh, consistent on a, you know, each time that you play it through, it'll just be harder to replicate. But you can see my opponent does shoot that well down. Now there's a couple different ways that I can go about doing this. I'm thinking about just trying to do some kind of rough bump here. I do think that this is going to give me a relatively reasonable chance to be able to hole out here. And, um, you know, I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.75 per ring or so. So I'm thinking somewhere almost four rings. But what you'll see is, you see how all points are kind of on the rough? That means that I expect, even with great ball, to be able to pull this off. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I'm doing this. You can see I did catch a great ball but it still hits the rough surface there. It's going to give you a good chance if you do catch the perfect ball for it to roll out and hopefully get an eagle. Um, I, I felt that needle wasn't very fluid, so for whatever reason, uh, it just seemed to kind of be a bit laggy there. But, um, you know, let's take a look at my opponent's shot here. Um, one of the things that you'll probably want to avoid is trying to land too close to the fringe line there. So you won't want to touch up on this part of the screen with the second and third bounce. You'll want to stay off of the fringe. It makes it a little bit easier. So here you can see it rolls out. Um, it's going to be a birdie. But... Um, I'm going to just go ahead and back out now. Um, this will get me in the replay pool, and I'll be able to, uh, you know, kind of instant match and basically, uh, you know, just play through a little bit quicker. So good luck with that first hole. Um, 
you know, there's going to be a, kind of a variety of different ways to do that. Uh, just keep in mind you're shooting down to a lower target. Uh, if you didn't check out my expert guide, you may want to check out the expert guides just so you can get an idea of how to play the uh, overplay because it's going to require extra rings on your part. So good luck there and I'll see you on hole uh, two coming up.